My name is Betty Kunyada. I study at St. Andrew School Turin. I'm going to year nine and I'm 13 years old. My citizenship activity this year was focused on planting trees to save the planet, as it says over there. But this just didn't just start during the summer holidays. During the December holidays, I started, started making my tree nursery where all the trees that I'm going to donate were coming from. I also realized through going to Malawi, I realized that trees and deforestation is not something that is just in where you are, but it's a worldwide problem because people who see burning charcoal as something that brings income is, is just what they need to do to get money, but they don't know that how it affects the environment. So the problem we're dealing with, I started in Kenya, because that's where I live, easier to deal with right now. So where we have a 6.2% forest cover. And if you go around, you see trees, but not many people know that Kenya potentially has very little forest. And most of Kenya, 80% of Kenya is either semi-arid or arid. So I, start, I also found out that countries Counties by the lake are the ones that have the least forest cover. And I wondered why. Because, and then I found out it's because lots of people at the lake depend on fish. But they don't know that fish has plastic in it. But that's a different sector that I'm not going to be dealing with. So, they, fish is food for them. So, okay, they have fish. And to cook that fish, I need firewood. So let me go get firewood from the trees, cut down some trees, cook firewood. But they don't know that cutting down those trees potentially causes harm to all of us. So I started by, I started in Homa Bay where I live and around the schools in my area. I started by where we have a 2.59% cover. So I started by raising awareness and this started, this started when I attended a meeting for all the stakeholders who deal with environment in Homer Bay County. And there I met lots of people who had passion for environment. And I met the minister dealing with water, environment and natural resources. And he wanted me to, I brought this so that I could show people. This is um, my end of prep school project. It was also meant to raise awareness on plastic. So I brought this and um, the, man in charge, the director of NEMA, which is the National Environmental <laughs> Management Authority, came to me and he wanted one of these in his office so that he could use to teach people how the environment is caused. He wanted me to come to the office and make more teaching aids like this, but that almost made me change my project, but I decided to stick to what I was doing. So. <laughs> So I started by reaching out towards schools. That was the easier target because if you tell an adult to come and plant trees, they have other things to do, so they won't necessarily be committed to what you want them to do. So I focused on also primary as well as secondary schools so that um, we, we started planting trees. I showed them how to plant the trees. And uh, before we planted trees, I educated them using this. And basically we talked about different ways where we could recycle plastic. Like some children had the idea of keeping it there in a, a, a blue bag container so that they could eat it later. So all these things we gathered ideas and then they understood why we needed to plant those. <coughs> so that's basically what I did. So basically when I was six years old, I planted a tree. It was donated to me by Beacon, and right now it's quite a big tree. And it represents my growth in Beacon as a Beacon scholar. So basically, I wanted people to have a connection with their trees. So everyone got a tree and was meant to take care of it, and it was their tree, not anyone else's. They're not sharing with anyone, it's theirs. There's for like theirs, not anyone else's. So I also went to a graduation as well as I handed out flyers like these for to give information about what causes harm to our environment. 
as well as I sold mango trees. So by selling mango trees like this one and also indigenous trees, I taught people that you can have this, yes, but like mango trees, trees can help build the environment, but as well you can get something from it. So most of what attracted people's attention was when we had mangoes that were like, you look at what a tree can, like this can produce. Most of the time, people look at a seedling and it's just a tree. But if this tree grows up and someday produces something like this, that's what catches people's attention. So that's what I was trying to convey to the people during, through the graduation as well. And yeah, through that, I managed to share knowledge, my knowledge with over a thousand people. We also planted, through the school, we also planted 800 trees amongst all of us. And, and that's not where it stops. So the director of NEMA said that I should come. I'm still going to come because you can't just leave it at that. So I'm going to make more of these, maybe more artwork so that people can see what plastic and things like this can do to the environment. So I'm also going to be helping with raising awareness about a project that is happening, the Flip Floppy Expedition, that is going to happen in December, where a man is coming around with his dough made out of plastic, like everything there is plastic, and he's going to he's going to sail around anticlockwise on the lake side, and I'm going to be helping raise awareness and all of this. So I'm also continuing my project by sharing this. I'm already part of the working team in Homer Bay County for the environment and like me, I want everybody else in here to start planting trees to save the planet. As it says in this book booklet, it doesn't matter where the tree comes from, as long as it's a tree, it doesn't, you have to, it, as long as you plant a tree to save the planet. So that is the message I'm conveying. I want to give thanks to my mom and dad for helping with the photos and the I couldn't, the, the trees as well. And I also want to thank Debbie for telling me that I was putting things too big. And, <laughs> and as well as the vegan family for supporting me and enabling me to build enough confidence to do something like this. Thank you. Okay, so this was made in school. It's a bit battered because I was using it in, in, in my explanations. But basically, this is the earth, and eventually, this whole plastic would eventually destroy our earth. That's what I was trying to convey through this. So at school, everybody was seeing this and now understanding that plastic is a bad thing to invent. Yeah.